And we welcome you once again back to the Southern New Hampshire University here in Manchester, New Hampshire. We have ourselves a, if necessary, a winner-take-all championship final between the third seed out of the Northeast Division, the Merrimack College Warriors, and the second seed out of the Southwest Division of the NE10, the New Haven Chargers. Curveballs hit hard. Nice play by Porcelli. Can he throw out his counterpart? Oh, man! Second sparkling defensive play of the weekend made by Joey Porcelli down there at third as he takes a potential hit away from Jack Sagaja. One on one the count here, one away. We're in the top of the third, scoreless. Merrimack with the best scoring opportunity of the game. There goes the runner. Pitch is lined into left field. That's an RBI base hit for Matthew Rone, and Merrimack has struck first. The Warriors lead at one to nothing. Three straight singles here by Merrimack. First pitch, well hit into left field. Nicholson, did he get enough of this one? He did indeed! A three-run shot for Matt Nicholson, his seventh home run of the year, and Merrimack leads it four to nothing. Oh and one. Hit on the right side. This is a tough play. It's going to score a run. Second baseman Garbarino will have to go to first. They'll get the out there four to three. And that plates the first run of the game for the Chargers as Myers comes around to score. It's now four to one. Squaring around to Bunt. They're going to try to push this run home, and they will do that. Palmer, nobody covering. Unbelievable. Run scores. Suicide squeeze turns into an infield base hit, and Merrimack takes a 5-1 to one lead. 6-1, Merrimack on top. There goes the runner. Swung on and missed. They'll throw down. Here comes the run. Safe there. And Shumsky will score from third. It's now 7-1. to one. That pitch. Stay hot, Joey Porcelli. Around, they'll send him into second. Aggressive player on the paths, and that will be rewarded. He will jog in there with his third hit of this game. Seventh hit here today. That pitch grounded to the left side with line speed. This is going to be a very tough play. Zagaja scoots in front. The throw is errant. That'll play to another run. Line will head back to first. Porcelli scores once again. It's now 8-1 to one Merrimack. 1-0. Hit well by Garcia down the left field line. That's trouble. Extra bases. New Haven will play one. Rounding around second, heading for third is Zagaja. He'll stop there. It's now 8-2 to two as Andrew Garcia has an RBI double. Chargers not done yet. Pitch. Grounded to the left side. That's going to get through the infield. And I say that they're going to hold Garcia up at third. That's an RBI single there for Contreras. And the Chargers not going not gonna to go down without a fight today. It's now 8-3. to three. As the guys who comes around to score, the pitch took something off to chop her back to the mound. He'll go to first to get the sure out. Run will come home, so make it now nine to four. But New Haven gets one back, and they pulled it within five. Now Flurry's consistently thrown strikes, and Garcia's consistently fouled them off. Here it is once again, lined in the left center field. That's a base hit. One run is in. Here comes the second run. Heading for third is the runner there. The ball bounces back on in the infield. It's a two-run single for Andrew Garcia, and it's now 9-6. to six. Huber and Walraven come around to score, and this game is very much just that. It is a game once again as New Haven has played three runs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. 1-1. One, one. Grounded past the shortstop who was covering at second. That's a base hit for Contreras. Shumsky was ranging to... The bag at second, it's now nine to seven and the tying runs are on base. Here's the two, two. Well hit into right center field. Right fielder Nicholson going back, it's over his head. Off the wall, it'll be scooped up by the center fielder line. Chamberlain will race into second. It's a lead off stand up double. He's fired up and the Chargers now will send the tying run to the plate the rest of the way, at least here in this eighth inning as they look to come all the way back. Since that time, New Haven has dug themselves back into it with a base hit here for Walraven into right field. They'll send Chamberlain. He will come around to score. It's an RBI single from Walraven, and it's a 9-8 ball game. Walraven with the second RBI of the game plates Chamberlain, who went off the inning with a double. And this New Haven team continues to fight, kick, scratch, and claw their way back in. 2-1 coming. 
Zagaja gives it a whirl in the right center field. Line with a long run. He made the catch! The star of the weekend, Tyler Line with a spectacular catch in right center field. And that ends the threat for New Haven here in the eighth inning. Ways low at third, Smith at second, Porcelli at first. They're low to win the top of the ninth. 2-2 pitch. Line through the left side. It's a base hit. One run is in. They'll hold up the runner at third. An RBI single for Line. And it's now 10-8. And Tyler Line enjoying every bit of that at bat right there. Here's the 2-2. Grounded to the right side. Garbarino stays down. Throws to first. And for the first time in 22 years, the Warriors are champions of the NE10. Merrimack College wins by a final score of 10 to 8 as they defeat New Haven two straight games here on Championship Saturday. Congratulations to Merrimack. We'll see New Haven next week in the East Regional Field. But today, the Warriors are champions.